Hello, I'm back again. But this time, instead of my touch, I have my iPad Nano first generation. I am going to show you how to hack it. Well, get to the programming menu. Whatever you want to do with it. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, I charged my iPad Nano too many times and the battery ran dead. So it doesn't hold a charge anymore, which is crap. So I ain't paying Apple $100 to get it fixed. I'll do it myself later on. Okay, well. Let me plug this in. Okay. I'll wait for it to turn on. It was a good iPod while I had it. Still, I can use it. It's going to have it charged on every time. Whoops. Okay. Probably definitely cannot see that, so hold on. Okay. Oh. Uh huh. Got lock on. Settings. Okay. What you want to do, go to the menu. Okay, once you're on the menu, hold down the center button and the menu button. Let me make sure I get this right. Okay. Same time, you know, to reset it. Like every button I bought, you can do this. Alright, as it resets, second it starts going out, hold down the re uh, rewind button and the center button. Do it clicks, and there you go. You're into the hack menu. It is very simple once you're in here to do whatever you want. You definitely cannot read that. So, what I, what I am going to do is once you're in, you just press the left or right down here. You go down. Um, I like going down to the pattern test. You just test the colors here. You just press the center button until you go through all the colors. And Oh, you didn't. I just figured something out. You change the color on, off, on, off button. Yeah. It's really fun. Simple. And there's another video on this dude. The dude just says he doesn't know how long to stay in there and might let race something. I did every test in here possible. If nothing happens to your iPod. But I am going to do this. You can do a wheel test. You just spin wheel and it tells you your current value. So it's to go from, I'm guessing, 1 to 95, which is average spin. So, it's pretty simple. Just press menu. And when you're done, you can either reset it by, you know, press and reset down at the bottom or hold down the menu in the bottom. But I'm just going to press to reset. It's really simple. I'm going to just make sure my iPod turns back on. Which I'm 100% sure, so don't worry, people that watch this and you want to do it, nothing's going to happen to your iPod. I've done this about 20 times a day to show my friends. See, so yeah, I get my music, songs, all of them are still there, so don't worry. It will not mess up your iPod. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, Y'all got to get out of here now because I'm about to play some break. Oh, yeah. Oops. All right, bye.